Okay, let's suppose this is a crime scene photo. And the officer on the scene wants to use this to send back to the lab for people to look at. Now, obviously this is not the actual size of the crime scene because it's on a sheet of paper. But what we need to do is we need to come up with a scale that we can use to tell the people who are going to use this photo and study it about how much that distance would be. Okay. So what can we use on this photo? What we need is we need to know some distance here. Okay. Well, let's say we know, and it's a little bit hidden behind the fence there, but let's say we know this doorway here is seven feet tall. Okay. So we're going to come down and we're going to set up a ratio to the from the photo to real life. And we just, like I just said, we know that the door is seven feet tall. So what we'll need to do now is see how big is it on the photo. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a ruler and we're going to measure the height of that door. And it comes down to about right here. It's kind of hard to see. But it comes down just past three, about 3.2 centimeters. So what that tells us is on the photo, 7 feet is equivalent to 3.2 centimeters. Now what we need to do then to create this scale is we need to find out how far that is. And so that distance, we measure this. Now look at that, it's right about the same. Maybe it's a little bit more, it's about 3.4. So this distance is about 3.4 centimeters. Okay. And so we can tell it's going to be a little bit above 7 feet. But how much? Okay. If we cross multiply, we get 3.2x equals about 23.8. And if we divide by 3.2, we get about 7.4 feet. So what we would do is we would send this photo back to our colleagues and let them know that this distance on the map is 7.4 feet. So now if in the course of their investigation they had to figure out what's the total width of this uh, back deck, well, we know that this distance here, which was 3.4 centimeters, is actually 7.4 feet. And so now they can measure this distance in centimeters and use the ratio method, as we just did, to convert that, convert that into feet.